I grew up in a small town called Lindsay, Ontario. When I walk out my front door back home, it's farmland, farmland, farmland. But I got into photography, you know, just as a kid. We had a point and shoot camera. I used to make home movies and stuff like that. But it first started, I took pictures of dinosaur toys that I had because I was really young. I would make webisodes of dinosaur pictures. So it was a really geeky thing to do. <laughs> and then somehow that transitioned to doing uh, local bands. From there, I used that to build my first portfolio. And then I got really serious after that. I think about the last year of, of, of high school, I would say I was a professional commercial photographer. I think my favorite commercial shoot I've done is for G-Unit because, I mean, I don't look like it, but I really like gangster rap. It's for Vibe Magazine. I, I don't know, I really like G-Unit and I got that shoot and they were cool. This year in Varanasi, as well as the past two years, I've been photographing the holy men of India, which are Brahmin priests. They are ascetic, they live as hermits away from the rest. And they have very strict rituals that they follow. My favorite trip that I've taken is by far is, was to Sibiru, Indonesia. I lived with the Mentawai tribe for three weeks, uh, sleeping on their front porch in the middle of the in the middle of the rainforest. And they are by far the, like the coolest people I've ever visited in any culture. This is me and the Mentawai Shaman in Sibiru. Uh, in order to get there, I had to first fly to Indonesia and then take a smaller flight to um, Padang, which is a city on the coast. And then from Padang, I had to take a cargo ferry across the ocean. And then we had to trek from that point five hours into the jungle to reach the first clan. So they're very remote. Anyway, they uh, are hunter-gatherers predominantly. And this is as well as one of the shaman's uh, headbands, which is very important to them because their headbands is the way that they uh, talk to spirits. The best way to describe it is like their antenna to the other uh, world. So when they wear this headband, it's very important to them. So don't ask how I got it. <laughs> Another source of income that, that I have that's important to me is I make Photoshop DVDs and I sell those through my website which are like a tutorial. Basically if you wanted to sit down and learn everything that I know about photography it would teach you that. <laughs>